Hello. In this video we will learn that what is nuclear energy. Let's start. The nucleus of the atom consists of particles called protons and neutrons, held together by powerful attractive forces. When the nucleus is broken to pieces, these forces are released as energy in the form of heat and radiation. In 1932 Sir John Cockcroft and E.T.S. Walton split atoms of lithium by bombarding them with alpha particles from a radium source. The alpha particles, being positive electrically, were speeded by being attracted down metal tubes which were charged negatively. At the bottom of the tubes was placed a piece of lithium metal. This apparatus was one of the first particle accelerators or atom smashers. A more powerful type of accelerator for splitting atoms and studying the energy produced was invented by E. O. Lawrence during the 1930s. His apparatus, called the cyclotron, used two hollow metal electrodes, each shaped like the letter D. These Ds, as they were called, were given alternate positive and negative charges by an alternating current. This exerted a push and pull effect on the particles, which whirled around and around in the D's at ever increasing speeds, finally bombarding the specimen placed at the exit from the D's. One of the most modern types of atom smashers is the synchrotron. The walls of a circular tube are lined with powerful magnets, whose field of force keeps the bombarding particles in the center of the tube. The particles are whirled around the tube at ever-increasing speeds by a high-frequency alternating current. The various substances being bombarded in atom mashers give off particles of different kinds, including alpha particles and beta particles, which can then be studied using an apparatus called the bubble chamber. The particles enter a large tank of liquid hydrogen which boils into a gas along the path taken by the particles as they pass through the liquid. This path can then be seen and photographed as a thin line of hydrogen bubbles. The atoms of certain elements can split by themselves, without the help of bombarding particles and accelerators. The atoms of uranium, for example, can do this. Uranium-235 is an isotope that occurs naturally with the commoner uranium-238. If a lump of uranium-235 is larger than a certain critical size all its atoms will split in a fraction of a second and enormous amounts of energy will be given off as an explosion. Uranium-235 is used to make atomic bombs this chain reaction, as it is called can be controlled a clear reactor large block of graphite as holds it. In these holes are placed number of fuel rods which are made of 238 which also contains a small proportion of the explosive atoms of 235. These keep on splitting and giving off energy within the uranium 238 and heat is produced in the graphite block. As the uranium 235 atoms split very fast moving neutrons are produced. Uranium-238, unfortunately, absorbs fast neutrons, but not slow-moving neutrons. So to keep the reaction going the fast neutrons are slowed down when they pass through the graphite block, which for rather obvious reasons is called a moderator. Now the uranium-238 will not absorb the neutrons, which can freely move about among the uranium-238 atoms bombarding them so that they will keep on splitting as a controlled chain reaction. The heat energy produced by this type of reactor can be harnessed in a nuclear power station air or carbon dioxide is pumped around the moderator block, is heated, and then passes into a boiler, where the hot gas changes water into steam. The steam is then piped off to drive steam turbines, which in turn drive generators producing electricity. To stop the reactor working the control rods are fully inserted in the reactor. That's all for today. Hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. Also press the bell icon so you never miss out out videos. Bye.